what is all this behind me, you might ask? Well, that's, uh, these are my baseline uh, number. I've been hitting balls a lot, trying to uh, do everything possible to give you the best possible review of, uh, of these. Let's get to it. All right, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're having an awesome day and I hope you like the video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that come on out. Today, we're looking at a new golf ball. You guys like golf ball review videos, so I thought we'd check out these. Sugar Golf. For $69, you get 27 golf balls in a cube. Hence, sugar, right? Sugar cube. There's 27. Do you know why? You know why there's 27? You mathematicians should know, right? It's a perfect cube. Three times three times three, 27. So you put 27, all right, all right whatever. It's, it's all cubed these days. So sugar golf. Uh, here's what's kind of neat. Uh, I mean, it comes in a, a white sugar colored box. The balls are, are obviously white golf balls. And what's cool is even the inside, when I cut it open, uh, white, like sugar. They spared no expense. They went to it. So this is one of those balls that are like discounted balls. They kind of cut out all the middlemen and people, women, whatever. And they just package the balls just like so, send it to you. Uh, sugar golf. But the question really remains the same for any type of golf ball like this. Uh, one, is it a good ball? Two, how long does it last? And we already tackled the price issue. It's a great price for what you get. And uh, I've tried out a number of these types of balls. My biggest concern has always been of the ones that are good, how long do they last? Some are just no good. And some are good, they just don't last. So uh, if you want a ball that lasts, is this one that is good? But if you lose a lot of golf balls, I say stuff like this is not a bad way to go. If they're good, I found just a few to be decent. We're gonna check out Sugar Golf. What is behind me? These are my baseline shots with a Pro V1 golf ball. So I have all those numbers. So we're gonna compare this to these numbers here, all right? And I'm gonna give you those numbers. Uh, and what I'm looking at is just kind of distance numbers, but really spin rate numbers are what we're going after because I wanna know how does the spin compare to like the top industry standard golf ball. So let me give you those numbers now. Okay, here are my numbers with the 54 degree wedge. We have an uh, average carry of about 100 yards, and I am getting an average spin rate of 88.29, and things are looking good. This is the Pro V1 golf ball, all right? So that's my 54 degree wedge. Here are my seven iron numbers, average carry 161, spin rate 62.91, ball speed is 114, looking good, all right? Okay, moving on, this is my four iron numbers, 194 carry average distance, 129 ball speed, and my average spin rate is 47.87. And here you go, my average driver carry is 256. It's weak, <laughs> I'm gonna step up my game. Uh, 288 total, that's better. Uh, 151 ball speed, smash factor is 150. Oh, by the way, let me know, uh, hit the uh, comment button or comment below if you wanna know how I get such a high smash factor and I will uh, do a video on that if you're interested in some of the swing changes I do, but typically I've always gotten a pretty high smash factor just in general. Uh, there's certain things that you have to do to achieve that and I can, if you want me to share it, I will. A little more detail to that whole video, but I can do that. And so average spin rate is 2441. So pretty good with the driver. That is a top quality golf ball right there. Industry standard Pro V1. Now I'm gonna hit a ton of balls with sugar, sugar golf ball, and compare them to these numbers. And then what we're gonna do later is go play because we wanna see how it performs on course because that's really the true, the true test. 
sugar golf ball only. Using the identical clubs, let's get to it. And as I'm hitting, what I want to show you are the comparisons of the inside of this golf ball versus what would be its competition. So one of its main competitors is going to be the Vice uh, golf ball. And inside the Vice versus Sugar, there's the Vice, here's Sugar. And then compared to some of the other leading brands, here's Sugar versus the Pro V1. And you can see they're very, very similar in terms of its construction internally. This is the Pro V1 2020 model. They have a new model coming out, so that's just 2020. And here it is up against Bridgestone, uh, their top three-piece construction golf ball. And again, very, very similar uh, to Bridgestone, so that's good to know. And then up against, just so you can see the difference between a three and a four-piece construction golf ball, the Pro V1X would be a four-piece, and here it is side-by-side -side with the internal of the Pro V1 2020 model or the, the current model. And it's, it's virtually identical minus the inner core. Let's look at the studio numbers right now. Okay, here are my numbers with uh, Sugar, Sugar Golf Ball with my 54 degree wedge. Uh, spin rate 89, so it's a little bit higher spin, just a little bit. I'm getting a little bit more carry than the previous, than previously with uh, the Pro V, so that's good. Well, I guess, I mean, you know, it's about the same so far with a 54 degree wedge. Uh, good carry, good spin, like that. That's what you want with uh, a, a wedge, one of your wedges. All right, what about the seven? So the, just the big difference is the 6,500 spin rate, higher spin rate with the seven iron, uh, the Pro V was 62-ish, so, uh, but the carry distance basically exactly the same as the other ball. Uh, okay, how about four iron? We're working our way up. All right, here's the four iron numbers. Uh, again, slightly higher spin rate by like 100. 48, I think we're 47, 20, so it's a little slightly higher. Carry distance is identical at 194 and so, I mean, I'm getting exactly the same number so far, club for club. Okay, and here's the driver numbers. Spin rate is 2618. I think we're at around 24 something with the Pro Vs. And my carry here is 250 on average, with the other one was like 258. So I'm losing a little distance here. Obviously that spin rate is gonna play a factor in that as well. I didn't hit it as well. My smash was only 148, 1.48, or it's 150 with the uh, with the other one. So, uh, you know, whatever ball speed, uh, club head, club head speed divided by ball speed, whatever uh, for smash factor. So I'm, I was probably getting a little bit more ball speed just in general off the other one. That'll increase that um, smash factor number. So these are the numbers in studio with Sugar Golf, but the real test is gonna be on the course. How are they chipping, putting, and actually playing, and do they last? Because that's what I wanna know, that's what you wanna know. Let's go hit the golf course and get a real life test to really uh, wrap this puppy up. All right, we are out at Atlanta National Country Club. Oh, by the way, if you're in the, uh, well, anywhere really in the country, check out the link in the description below for Club Corp and their family of golf courses around the country. And if you're in the Georgia area, obviously check out Atlanta National and Club Corp here as well. Love to see you out here, all right? So just something to uh, that you might be interested in. We're at the 10th hole. We're gonna play a bunch of holes with Sugar Golf and see how it holds up on course. <sighs> and then we will, uh, I'll, I'll let you know what, I don't know, the prognosis is.
All right, this is the ball I used. Played nine holes out here at Atlanta National. Just happy to get a par here on the 18th hole. It's a tough hole, beautiful. All right, let's look at that. How does she look? She's a little scuffed up, but I'll tell you what, compared to kind of other, let's say, direct to consumer golf balls, this has uh, better durability than the other ones. And I did like it, like it's comparable to the Pro V1. I typically use the Pro V1X, so it's a little soft for me. It does spin uh, a little bit more than I'm, let's say, used to, but uh, I didn't get, it didn't get out of hand. It didn't get out of control. Uh, I was in the bunker once, in the waste area a couple times. I hit it great. I mean, nothing ballooned off the tee. Uh, I got a fair amount of spin around the greens, not a ton. Uh, it's winter conditions, greens are really firm and hard, so you're not gonna get a lot of bite. I think for the money, let's say, who is this golf ball for? I think for the money, if you lose a lot of golf balls, this is great for you. It's really high quality, I think in my opinion, and it's more durable than the other ones. So it will last longer. Like I'm cool with using this for nine holes. I hit a tree once, it bounced back into the um, fairway and there's no major scuff marks. I hit it thin once, couple couple scuff, scuff marks, but nothing I wouldn't, let's say, play with. In a tournament, I'd replace it, but for nine holes, I'm, I'm comfortable with using this for the rest of the round, is what I'm saying. And if you lose a lot, I think you're gonna, uh, something like this is gonna help you at least save some money. So I like the fact it comes in a cube, 27 balls, Sugar Golf, link in the description below. Give them a check out if that's something you're into. Hope you liked the video. Love you guys. See you next time.